All right, so on our last top 10 video by CBSI comicbookinvest.com, there was a lot of interesting comments in the comment section. Yeah, a lot of people are talking about how these books aren't as attainable as they could be. And I understand that the community does want to find the books in the dollar bin and the things they can go and seek. But you have to understand that a lot of this is just tied to the news, the TV, the movies. If something gets announced and all of a sudden a book that was a dollar bin book spikes to $40, or we have a book that's a variant... The hot 10 list is going to do what it's going to do. This is just telling you what are the books that people are looking for this week. And some will be easy to find and some won't. And that's just the nature of the beast. Today's list is filled, though, with stuff that you could potentially find, which is super exciting. Which is good. And there are also some variants and even a Golden Age book. Yeah, Golden Age. What? We got to dive into it. Absolutely. I'm super excited here. So let's just kick it off with number 10. It's a good place to start. Ogre number one. Coming in at number 10. Now, this is a book came up from Source Point Press this week. I had a regular comic book customer come in looking for this, and it wasn't even on my radar. It wasn't something that I had ordered. It is a three-issue miniseries. Seems kind of like a cool horror thing, but again, it's from Source Point, which is another one of those small book publishers that's putting out really good story-driven content, really beautiful art, and the print runs low, and all of a sudden it hits, and... I don't think there's any movie buzz about this. I don't think there's any TV buzz about it. But, I mean, it's about an ogre that's chained to a dead person, and the story kind of evolves from there. And the buzz has been really, really good. But these things are going for between $10 and $18 on eBay, and this book came out two days ago. That's right. There's a lot of people talking about this book online. I'm already seeing this posted on Instagram. If you find this book, you're going to want to pick it up. It seems interesting, and the community has deemed it worthy to be double cover price. Crazy. Moving on to number nine. I'm super psyched about this one, all right? So we have a Golden Age comic book. And the first thing I did when I saw this list, I hit up Jack, shout out Jack over at CBSI. I asked him, when was the last time a Golden Age comic book broke the top 10 list? Mm -hmm. He said, I'm currently going through 2016 and I haven't even found a Golden Age comic yet. This may be the first Golden Age comic to break the top 10 list in like two years plus. That is really, really amazing. Coming in at number nine, we have Strange Stories from Another World, number four. Okay, this is Norman Saunders. This is the pulp cover mastermind. Sure. All right. By 1938, this guy had done over 446 pulp covers, horror, sci-fi. It's masterpieces because they were all painted. Mm -hmm. By his death, he had done a total of 867 pulp covers. Wow. It's amazing, and they're all painted. The most painted covers are done by him. That is really, really impressive. It's comic book history, and a 4.5 CGC went for 600 bucks. A 6.0 for the, of this comic book went for 900 bucks. Now, that sounds like a lot of money, but when last year a pedigree at 8.0 goes for 525, literally double the grade yeah. at $100 less, it deserves to be on this list. Yeah, the, the market is moving very, very quickly on this one. Now, I hear you, Golden Age, why is this on the list? This isn't going to be attainable. Well, the last three sales that have hit eBay in the last couple months, $15, $40, and $60. Low grade, yes, but when a 4.5 is going for $600, you need to be keeping this on your radar. Well, we've been doing more Golden Age stuff recently, especially with the Golden Age guru, Jeff Itkin, coming onto the show. And it's very, very cool because we're able to do the Hot 10 with the Golden Age books and some sci-fi and some horror and all of the above. It's been very, very good, but it's nice to see some Golden Age love on CBSI's Hot 10 list. Moving on to number eight, we have a very attainable modern comic book that is going to be found in quarter bins, in dollar bins across the country. Why don't you let the audience know what they should be hunting for here? This book is absolutely going to be in quarter bins. And right now, go search for Legionnaires number zero. This is the first appearance of Nora Allen. Now, in the story, she is Barry Allen's granddaughter. But in the TV show, the Flash TV show, she's going to be Barry Allen's daughter. This is currently going for $10. And this is straight up a quarter bin, dollar bin book. This is the type of thing. It's not a series that anyone cared about. I probably have them in my quarter bin. So anyone who gets to my shop before 2 o'clock tomorrow, you can dig. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> so we just dropped a video yesterday on DCU Universal Logo Variants. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what that is, check the link. 
Now, there are other logo variants that exist, you know, kind of part of those bulk packaging that they did and sold to like Target. Sure. There are zero hour UPC variants of this book. CBSI mentions that. Now, the first thing I wanted to know is what evidence do you have? I've never seen this. I can't find this online. I wanted to know the proof. And it turns out one of the writers of the list has a copy of it. So keep an eye out for this. This may be the first time a picture of this comic book has graced the internet. Yeah. And this is a minor key that is attainable and potentially super scarce. So it just goes deeper. Yeah. But let's not go too deep. We have to go to number seven on the list, the source number one. Now, this right here, this is just a hot book. And we have prices all over the board with this because there are multiple variants of this issue. Now, prices for this comic is already exceeding $10, some reaching $15. But we have multiple variants of this book. We have the black variant reaching $20. This is a 1 in 10 variant. Then we have a glow-in-the-dark variant, which is 1 in 20. And that's going for above 20 bucks as well. What's interesting is that there's actually two different versions of this glow-in-the-dark variant. Okay. But here's my favorite thing. New York Comic Con, they released an Ashcan preview. And that preview is going for more than the raw copy is. Wow, that is crazy. And this is just another one of those books that is from Scout Comics. It's a small indie press that is getting a lot of buzz. We've seen a couple other Scout Comics books on here. They are definitely putting out good things. So pick up issue number one because they might be spiking, but they're getting good stories out there. Russ, why don't you hit us up with number six because Captain Marvel, she can't stay off this list. Coming in at number six, we have Captain Marvel volume five, number 16. This is first Phyla Vale. Phyla Vale has been confirmed to be one of the potential people in Donny Cates' new Guardians of the Galaxy team. Did you say Donny Cates again? Donny Cates. Who would have thought? I know, Captain Marvel and Donny Cates, it's like, Chocolate and peanut butter. Mm -hmm. it, it's amazing. You have to have two <laughs> great tastes that taste like Texas. Shout out, Texas. <laughs> Texas forever. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Donny Cates. But first, Phyla Vale. And Phyla Vale has now made it onto the poster. And the poster has Moondragon, and it has Nova, and it has all of these other people. It looks so cool. Beta Ray Bill does look very, very cool. And I think that there are 12 people on the poster, and they're going to cut it down to the six people that stay in the Guardians team. But we have another edition. And again, this edition is going for 20 to $25. Boom. All right. So we are halfway through the list, Russ. So you know what we got to do now. This is the point in the list where we take the opportunity to shout out to people who are killing it. That's right. Killing it in the field. They're on the ground. They got boots on the ground. They're hunting. And you know what? We have to give some shout outs. So we have Brenton S. Comics scoring Dark Avengers number one with a number two and three variant all for a buck each. Well done, sir. That's amazing. We have Indie Comic Guy cover price got three nail biter number ones ghosted number nine which is the nail biter preview and five copies of the cursed comics cavalcade oh, that's serious collecting right there oh, serious buying and serious hunting all right shout out to pure shots picking up the venom tongue variant as well as midlife crisis comics picking up that secret variant it's not really a secret anymore huh no, it's not. And Charlie Hotel 6 did happen to get a ridiculous graded thing of the Batman Dam, but go follow him on Instagram. You can see those. He got a run of God Country for a very good price. Ooh, a whole run. Where is our God Country, man? We have that somewhere. I know. There's a God Country somewhere. You I ever, don't know where it is. Okay, shout out. I want to know in the comment section below, um, all of you who have lost a comic book and know you have it somewhere, but you have too many damn comic books and you can't find it. When I was 12, I lost a copy of ASM 300 signed by Todd McFarlane. Did you ever find it? No, and I'm almost 40, and I'm still looking for that comic. <laughs> I swear to God, I've moved cross-country three times, and I will find that. No book. time, man. We got to find it, but no time because I have to move on to number five. Because Red Sonia is coming in so strong. Amy Chu, I've been saying this on Instagram for like a year. Amy Chu's been killing it on She's Red Sonia. She's been doing a good job writing it, yeah. It's great. But this number 20 New York City Comic Con exclusive is gorgeous. So the Perio variant from New York Comic Con is just absolutely stunning. And she's got battle scars. She's got battle wear. There's no writing on the you cover. See that like cut on the bicep? You, it looks like she gave herself an appendectomy. Right? I mean, really, <laughs> it's really, really awesome. But this has been going for $130? Yep, that's right. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's because it's gorgeous, Was man. it New York Comic Con like three weeks ago? Yep. Aren't you still sick from New York Comic Con? Sure am. Post-nasal drip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to put this in my no, my eBay notifications. I got to check out this book. I got to get it. But you know what? Number four on the list. We called it. 
This is another one of those New York Comic Con variants. Heroes in Crisis, number one, the foil variant. We talked about the Harley Quinn, Francesco Mattina variant, yep. and we knew that was a one in 200 variant. It was going to be going for a ridiculous amount of money, but we knew that there was a Heroes in Crisis that said Heroes in Crisis up in the corner That's with right. a foil. This book was selling on eBay strong, $40 to $50 before the con. And a lot of times you see these con exclusives, they come out and then they drop. This one is holding and going up. We're seeing sales between $50 and $75 for this book. Gotta love it, man. Yeah. yeah it's an awesome book, and you gotta keep an eye out for it. Pick it up now. Like, if you really want to get this book, get I think this now. is going up. This is a mini series, and Tom King knows there's only a finite number of books that are going to be in this series, so they won't be out there very long. But once we hit the end of this series, we're going to see these spike even harder. All right, number three on the list. I am so excited because tomorrow, after I am up really early editing the video you're watching, I'm going to go and watch Halloween. And I'm just, I'm a huge Michael Myers fan. I'm so stoked. I already got my tickets, Russ. Awesome. Number three, we have Halloween One Good Scare, the H25 convention variant. This is actually a really cool cover. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of this. You have like the pumpkin slash Michael Myers kind of like fusing. It's really cool. pumpkin inny. It's perfect for October. It really is. Yeah. It is. I'm excited about this movie and this comic book has got a lot of people in the community excited because it's going for over 40 bucks. Wow. And you know what? We're already at number two, but we can't finish this list without talking about Captain Marvel again. Number two, Life of Captain Marvel, number four, the Jen Bartel cover. And one of the regulars at my shop came to me about three months ago asking about this cover, and I knew it was a one in 25, and I told him I probably wasn't going to get it, but it looked gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then a couple weeks ago, we had number three, the Joe Casada variant with her in that hair. That book in a 9.8 is going for $600, but the Jen Bartel variant, one in 25 for number four, came out two days ago, and we're already seeing sales in the 40 to $50 range, and there aren't that many on eBay. That's right. You actually mentioned we were chatting about which pick I was going to do for my key collector contribution. You mentioned that the, you, you thought this, this is the one that one. I thought was going to be a good variant. But yeah. when Bill Sinkovich is on the list. You know, I got to pick it. Oh, I know you have to. That Venom variant was very, very cool, but it was open to order. And since this is a one in 25, yep. we knew that this is going to be spiking a little bit harder. Number one on the list. I am super excited to see this here. We have the Walking Dead blind bag variant issue number 100, the Negan bubble variant. This Variant. Now, we already did a video about the variant videos. We did the J. Scott Campbell blind bags. We, we talked about 20 of them. We opened 20 of them and we got to see the collation. Image did a fantastic job collating these. When they said 10%, when they said 50%, we saw the right numbers on those. These Negan variants are super rare. It's a word bubble and he's talking about how Lucille's his vampire bat. And I think it's very, very cool. But the coloring is different than the normal Negan coloring. And we saw recent sales of three of them on eBay, and they are going for 150 and up. There are two more listed that are on auction that are going to be ending sometime in the next few days anyway. But they're going to break that 150 mark. They are going to break the 150 mark. There are a few hidden variants that... Robert Kirkman is a troll. Yep. There are a few <laughs> hidden variants that... We didn't know about until people opened the boxes. That's right. You know, and got the opportunity to open those bags. And I'm digging these secret variants. And you know, Robert Kirkman is he's talking about it. He's going to continue to do them. That's right. That's right. All right. So that's the list. But before we finish up the video, we do have to announce our giveaway winner from the last video. We do this list every week. You want to hit that subscribe button. You want to hit that like button. And we also want to give a big thank you and congratulations to Mr. John Reynolds. I got to read this. This is really funny. He said here in the comments, also, Donny Cates has earned the title Dollar Bin Whisperer. So he's killing it for all of us. You know, because I said this is the year of Cates. I think that's right. Shout out. Thank you so much. Congratulations, John. And Russ, we do have a giveaway for this week's video. You know what? For this week's video... We don't have the bubble variant, but you have a chance to get a bubble variant. This is a still sealed blind bag of number 100 for the Walking Dead, Walking Dead Day variants. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment down below because we want to hear what you think about this week's list, and that'll get you in the drawing for winning a free copy of the blind bag number 100. Best of luck with that. We want, we hope, I'm going to pray a little prayer to Thor here that you get that Negan variant. Shout out to comicbookinvest.com putting out this awesome list every week so we can cover it for the comic book community. 
Thank you for your time. And as always, geek responsibly. Wait, Russ, we have a variant we need to tell the As audience a matter about. of fact, we do. And what better way to geek responsibly than picking up the Milgi Comics Bags and Boards Walking Dead variant? That's right. Help support the podcast. Links in the description. And as always, geek responsibly. Enough said. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do you actually like reading comics? Because we do, and if you click this link right there, um, you can check out the most recent Infinity Gauntlet Jim Starling goodness breakdown me and Fire Guy Ryan are doing. And if you click this link right here, just in time for Halloween, you can check out the Dangerous Habits Hellblazer Constantine Greatness coverage that we're doing. Come on, it's Garth Ennis, click it.